Welcome back, Fantasy Fiction Fanatics. It's great to see you again, and I hope you're doing well. Today we have a book review, and today's book review is on Dragons of Deceit by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. So for all you guys that are Dragonlance lovers out there, sorry this one is a little bit later. I actually already did a book review for it on the blog, so if you would like to see my written review, I will link it down below for you to check out. Um, it just took me a little while to get this filmed review up, so hopefully you are excited to talk about this book with me if you've already read it, or to hear more about it if you are thinking about reading it. So let's go ahead and start with the synopsis. This particular uh, book is about a woman named Destina Rosethorn, and her father and her are very, very close. Uh, he is a knight, and she really loves him and his legacy and her life and when she suddenly loses him she tries really hard to keep his legacy alive and to keep the Rosset Horn um, estate up and good but eventually she cannot get through her grief eventually she just realizes that she cannot deal with the fact that he is gone and the way things are going for her so she decides she's going to do the impossible she is going to go back in time and save her father's life the only thing is that uh, you never know with time travel if you're gonna change too much and mess up the future. And so she will have to see if she can just change what she wants to change instead of more than she intends to. Okay, so what did I like about this particular book? Um, I really like a lot of things about this book, but there's three main things that I felt like were really excellent. Um, the first is that we have great characters. Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman always have really good characters, but they also bring back amazing characters that were from the original um, Dragonlance Chronicles into this new book. And so it's really great seeing those old characters. It's interesting seeing the new characters. So a lot of great characters in this one and a lot of good uh, fuzzy feelings of the people that you like from the original uh, Chronicles coming back and getting to see them again. So excellent on the characters. Um, I am reminded once again with this book how great their writing style is. Um, Dragonlance has always been a top-notch writing style that I feel like ages really really well. They never write it where it's in that kind of old style um, pretty removed. Instead, they are very fresh and they have such a great style where it has a bunch of detail to it while not being too detailed and you really connect with the characters while still getting a broad view of everything. So I feel like their writing style is always excellent and this book is no exception. It's still a wonderful writing style with a lot of thought and effort put into the characters and the events and the setting and everything like that. And you really see that flushed out with this style. Um, and the last thing I want to mention that's really great is that there are some pretty unexpected twists um, and turns in this story. Uh, it's not something that you can just say based on previous Dragonland stories that you know like, oh, this is going to happen or that it's predictable. We have some pretty interesting twists and unexpected events that happen that really freshen up the look, uh, the setting from the other books that refreshen up the characters that we've seen in other books that just really keep it great and makes you want to read more. Um, since this is going to be a trilogy, there will be more coming and it definitely makes you want to read more and to see what's going to happen. Um, what did I not like about this book? Um, the main thing that I really felt like was a little bit weaker for me was the fact that we have a kind of a slower start to this book compared to other Dragonlance books. And I understand that because this happens, like, you know, over the, at least the beginning of the book happens over the course of the Chronicle series and the Legend series, that she has to set up some background or, or that they have to set up some background for Destina. Um, but... It's kind of a slow start. We're really setting things up at the first, I'd say, half of the book. And then the second half of the book is really more of the action and adventure that we're used to in Dragonlance. So I would have preferred a little bit more 
getting into the adventure and into the actual storyline a little bit quicker just like I mean even the Chronicles story we pretty much jump right in on um, just after uh, the first chapter or so we're already getting into unique things happening and them being on the run so I would have liked a little bit more of that jumping in kind of feel in this book um, and the only other thing I'd like to mention is, you know, it sucks because we have to wait for the next one. <laughs> the ending is super great and it makes you want to reach immediately for the next one even though we don't have it yet. So just keep that in mind is that you will likely be upset when it ends because there is no more. <laughs> but that's a good problem to have. That's always a good problem when you're reading a book to want more. So, in the end, do I recommend it? Um, I, hopefully it's pretty obvious that I do. I definitely highly recommend it to any reader who loves Dragonlance. If you are thinking that you are, um, you're not somebody who knows Dragonlance, but you are thinking that you're interested in it, I would still recommend it to you, but I would say it's important to read the Chronicles series and the Legends series first, or those two trilogies, because those characters and those events are going to be important for understanding some of the things going on in this particular novel. So definitely don't start with this one for Dragonlance, but you know, it's definitely a good one for if you love Dragonlance and you've already read those series or those trilogies to go ahead and read this book. I think that you will highly love it and any person getting into Dragonlance, um, will hopefully love the first books and will eventually make it to this book. So if you like high fantasy and like more of the traditional classic style of high fantasy, um, this book and this set of series by Margaret Rice and Tracy Hickman are excellent choices for reading. So hopefully if you've already read it, you will share your thoughts with me and let me know what you think about the characters and the events that are going on and if you're excited for the second book um, and if you are hoping to read it, I'd love to hear what has gotten you interested in starting this book. And hopefully you will enjoy it when you read it. I will see you guys in the next one. And I'll talk to you later. Bye!